Oil shipping accounts for nearly a third of global maritime trade. But do you know how the oil is transported from the seabed to us? Vast quantities of crude oil and refined petroleum products are transported by ships between production sites, refineries and consumption points. They travel the world's major shipping lanes, passing through strategic locations such as the Strait of Hormuz, Malacca and the Suez and Panama canals. Now, before we know more about how we get oil, please subscribe to Marine Insight and press that bell icon. Oil reservoirs can be found beneath land or the ocean floor. On land, oil is obtained through an oil rig or drilling rig. The ocean contains a huge proportion of the world's oil reserves. So, how is oil extracted from the ocean? For that, they use oil rigs. Before starting operation, drilling companies decide where they want to extract oil from, depending on which spot has the greatest potential for oil extraction. These spots are usually a couple of hundred miles offshore. Once the spot is selected, the type of oil rig suitable for the operation is chosen. The three types of offshore rigs which are commonly used to drill wells are Jack-up rig, which is usually towed to the site. Their legs are lowered to the seabed and the hull is jacked up clear of the sea surface. These are used in waters having a depth of up to 160 meters. Semi-submersible rig. They provide excellent stability in rough deep seas and are towed to the location and then installed there. These offshore oil platforms are intended for long-term operations. Drill ship. These look like ordinary ship but have a derrick on top that drills through a hole in the hull. Drill ships are either anchored or positioned with computer-controlled propellers along the hull, which continually correct the ship's drift. Oil rigs are gigantic structures and look similar to a floating city, employing and housing hundreds of people. Some specially designed rigs can descend as far as 12,000 feet into the depths of the ocean to extract oil, which is four times taller than the world's most ambitious skyscrapers. Mostly, the oil extracted by the rigs from the sea makes its way to the shore through underwater pipelines. Supplies required for the people on the rig and its operations are carried by platform supply vessels essentially many short-range flexible cargo ships. Oil is transported on purpose-built ships called tankers, classified by their deadweight tonnage. In 2021, the global oil tanker fleet had a capacity of around 619 million deadweight tonnage. Deadweight is a measure of how much weight a ship can carry in tons. Oil tankers are subdivided into two main types product tankers and crude tankers. The oil tanker fleet consists of very large crude carriers or VLCCs with a maximum deadweight tonnage of around 300,000. There are ULCCs having a deadweight tonnage of 400,000 but they are not sailing anymore to transport oil and now are being used as floating storage tankers. The size of a ship is determined by the canals and straits through which it travels. A Panamax tanker, for example, cannot exceed 32 meters in width or 80,000 deadweight tonnage in weight. The most commonly used crude oil shipping routes originate in the Middle East. Out of the total merchant ships in the world, about 30% are tankers. Crude tankers are generally much bigger and move large quantities of unrefined crude oil from their point of extraction to refineries. Once the refined product is ready, it must be transported to the facilities closer to land where the oil is consumed in factories, industries or by customers as petrol or diesel fuel. Since crude oil tankers are enormous, they can't carry fuel closer to land or inside the port cities. Hence, product tankers are designed to move refined products of various grades from refineries to points near consuming markets. They are smaller compared to crude oil tankers, 
Their tanks are coated with epoxy that is used to protect the cargo and helps in their cleaning, so that they can carry a variety of products on different voyages. The oil is further distributed to inland facilities via small canals and rivers using coastal barges. This is how we get petrol or diesel for our cars extracted from the seabed. Which part of the oil supply chain do you belong to? Let us know in the comments and for more such information follow Marine Insight.